I want to speak about unforgiveness. And we have to understand that unforgiveness is a sin. And you may say, hey, Kevin, I forgive my enemies. And what I will say to you, okay, do you treat your enemies different than before they became your enemy? For instance, before they did you wrong, how did you treat them? Were you more kind? Were you more talkative to them? Were you this? Were you that? Now, if that have changed now, chances are you may be in unforgiveness toward them. And we have to understand that unforgiveness is a weight unto us, not our enemies. We were not made to hold unforgiveness in us. We were not made to carry burdens. Let's say that you have this object and this object can only carry 200 pounds or can only hold 200 pounds, but you are trying to place 300 pounds on this object. So what is going to happen to that object? Chances are it is going to break. Okay. Since we are not made to hold unforgiveness in all of these burdens, what happens when you choose to do that? You are going to break. Your mind is going to break. Hence, mental illnesses like what? Depression and I can't really think of all of them, but stuff like that. This is the reason why we need to cast our cares to God, not hold it within us and whatever else. We all have, man, let me say this. Everyone have had bad things happen to them back in the past. Everyone, almost everyone that I speak to, bad things have happened to them back in the past. So what I am trying to say is to move on. Forgive and try to forget and move on. Because if you still try to carry that weight, it is going to continue to break you down because you were not made to carry that weight. You're supposed to give it to God and move on. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6. 14 through 15. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. So when you forgive people, God is going to forgive you. But if you don't forgive people, God is not going to forgive you. Why? Because you are in sin. Unforgiveness is a sin. Okay. Let's go to 15. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. So I went through that already. <laughs> Let's go to Mark 11 and 25. And when ye stand praying, forgive if ye have aught against any. So if you have any problem or issue against a person. Wait a minute. And when ye stand praying, forgive if ye have aught against any. So if you have any issue with a person, if you have any problem with a person, forgive them, man or woman, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. So the only way that God is going to forgive you, first, you have to forgive your enemies. So what is the point and praying to God when you have not forgiven your enemies. Unless you are praying to God, asking him to help you forgive your enemies. But what is the point of praying to God as in God? 
you know, I need help with my bills and this and that, when you have not forgiven your enemies. You have to do things in order. Before you get to D, you have to go to A, B, and C first. You can't start at A, then jump all the way to D. No, there is an order that you have to follow. I pray that makes sense. So now you know when you hold unforgiveness within yourself, you are breaking yourself. You are destroying yourself more. And you believe that you may be hurting other people by not talking to them or engaging with them and stuff like that. But what you really are doing, you are hurting yourself more than your enemies. Because sin hurts you. Not so much the other person, but it curses you and hurts you more than anyone else. I pray that this... Un no, I pray that this makes sense. God bless.